Welcome to the The Sky Tech Nerd U, the latest news from around the world. Imagine looking back not just centuries or even millennia, but traveling across the unimaginable gulf of time, billions of years, to witness the universe's very first sparks of creation, when everything we know began. Picture the chaos and beauty of those early moments, swirling clouds of gas, the birth of the very first stars, and galaxies assembling from cosmic dust. For so long these scenes were locked away, hidden from human eyes. For generations the idea of witnessing such events was pure science fiction, a dream for astronomers and storytellers alike inspiring countless books and films. But today, August 26, 2025, a discovery has shaken astronomy to its very core, sending ripples of excitement and disbelief through the scientific community. The universe we thought we knew is being redrawn before our eyes. Our cosmic maps and star charts are shifting as new data challenges everything we once believed. Our models of cosmic evolution painstakingly built over decades are being challenged in profound and unexpected ways. The very foundations of our understanding are being tested. What we've found isn't just another distant galaxy, it's a colossal structure from the dawn of time, a cosmic anomaly that shouldn't exist, at least not according to our current theories. This forces us to reconsider the speed and scale of creation itself, opening up new frontiers for science and sparking questions we never thought to ask. Understanding the universe's origins is deeply tied to understanding ourselves. Every atom in our bodies was forged in ancient stars, connecting us to the cosmos in ways both poetic and profound. By studying the first light and the earliest structures, we trace our own cosmic lineage uncovering the story of how we came to be. This discovery is a pivotal chapter in humanity's story, a moment that will be remembered as a turning point in our quest to understand the universe. It took the ingenuity, dedication, and collaboration of thousands of scientists, engineers, and dreamers, along with a technological marvel, to reach this moment of revelation. That marvel is the James Webb Space Telescope, a machine designed to peer deeper into the universe's infancy than ever before, unlocking secrets hidden for billions of years. And what it's shown us is more spectacular, more mysterious, and more puzzling than we ever imagined, reminding us that the universe is far stranger and more wondrous than we ever dreamed. To grasp the magnitude of this discovery, we must appreciate the tool behind it, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. Launched in 2021, Webb orbits nearly a million miles from Earth at the second Lagrange point, shielded from the sun, and kept incredibly cold. Its mission to see the universe in infrared, capturing ancient light stretched by cosmic expansion. Webb's 6.5-meter gold-coated mirror and four advanced instruments, NERCAM, NERSPEC, MIRI, and FGS NIRIS, work together to image and analyze the earliest galaxies. This combination of sharp imaging and detailed spectroscopy gives Webb its unique power to dissect the early universe. Webb was built to answer fundamental questions. How did the first galaxies form? How do stars and planets emerge? Could there be life elsewhere? It's a time machine and a chemical lab in one. And now, it's delivered a discovery that has exceeded all expectations. The discovery that stunned the world is GNZ 13 X, a proto-galactic core from when the universe was just 320 million years old. This means we are peering back in time, to an era when the cosmos was still shrouded in darkness, and the very first galaxies were beginning to ignite. If the universe's history were compressed into a single calendar year, this object would have formed in the very first week of January, an unimaginably early chapter in the cosmic story, when the universe was less than 1% of its current age. GNZ 13X was found in the Goods North Field, a patch of sky that astronomers have studied for decades. Yet, it remained hidden in plain sight, unresolved and mysterious, until Webb's powerful infrared eye finally isolated its ancient, bright light from the background. Webb's NERSPEC instrument confirmed its astonishing distance with a redshift of 13.2 comma, placing it among the oldest and most distant objects ever seen by humanity, an extraordinary window into the universe's earliest moments. What's truly shocking isn't just its age, but its incredible mass and brightness, nearly a billion suns packed into a region far smaller than our own Milky Way, shining with the intensity of a cosmic beacon. This discovery defies our gradual models of galaxy formation, which predict that galaxies should assemble slowly over billions of years through countless mergers and accretions. GNZ 13X seems to have leapt ahead, forming rapidly and unexpectedly, 
GNZ-13X is a site of furious star formation, with stars being born hundreds of times faster than in the Milky Way today. It's a stellar nursery on overdrive forging new suns at a breathtaking pace. It likely harbors a supermassive black hole at its heart, actively accreting matter and blasting out energy in powerful jets, an engine that may have shaped the galaxy's rapid growth and evolution. This beacon from the edge of cosmic dawn challenges everything we thought we knew about the birth of cosmic giants. It forces astronomers to rethink how quickly galaxies and black holes can form, and what conditions made such rapid growth possible. It's a cosmic paradox, young, yet impossibly mature. GNZ-13X stands as a testament to the universe's ability to surprise us, reminding us that the earliest chapters of cosmic history are still full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Let's look closer at GNZ-13X, the heart of a galaxy in the making. Picture it as the yolk of an egg, dense, chaotic, and bursting with activity. Gas, dust, and newborn stars swirl around a monstrous black hole, all packed into a tiny volume. The evidence points to a direct collapse origin. Instead of slow merging, a massive gas cloud collapsed rapidly, forming a giant core and black hole almost instantly. This object is both young and surprisingly mature, with a supermassive black hole millions of times the sun's mass. How did it grow so fast? The direct collapse theory may be the answer. Webb's data shows vast filaments of hydrogen gas feeding the core, raw fuel for starbursts and black hole growth. We're witnessing the construction of a cosmic metropolis lived from 13.5 billion years ago. This is not a finished galaxy, but a galactic construction site. It's a watershed moment for cosmology. How did Webb see the unseeable? The answer, spectroscopy. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, splits faint light into a spectrum, a barcode revealing an object's composition, temperature, and distance. To measure GNZ-13, X's distance, astronomers looked for the Lyman Alpha line, a hydrogen signature stretched into the infrared by cosmic expansion. NearSpec detected this line at a wavelength 14.2 times longer than its original, confirming a redshift of 13.2. This isn't just a red dot, it's a confirmed artifact from the cosmic dawn. Spectroscopy also revealed furious star formation and rapid gas motions, hinting at a massive black hole. Emission lines from elements like oxygen and neon showed the presence of hot, young stars. The shape of these lines indicated swirling gas feeding the black hole. Spectroscopy transforms faint glimmers into detailed stories of creation. It's the key that unlocks the universe's secrets. One of GNZ-13, X's most startling features, is its chemical makeup. The early universe should have been simple, mostly hydrogen and helium. Yet Webb's spectrum shows elements like carbon, oxygen, and neon, evidence that at least one generation of massive stars had already lived and died. For this to happen within 320 million years is astonishingly fast. These metals are crucial for forming stars, planets, and dust, the building blocks of complexity. Their presence means the conditions for planet formation may have existed far earlier than we thought. The ratios of these elements suggest they were forged by extremely massive, short-lived stars. GNZ-13X isn't just evidence of these stars, it's proof they existed in vast numbers, rapidly enriching the cosmos. GNZ-13X isn't just a new data point, it's a paradigm shift. The standard model says, galaxies form slowly, from the bottom up, but this object suggests massive structures could form directly and rapidly, a top-down process. It doesn't mean our models are wrong, but they're incomplete. The early universe may have operated under more violent, accelerated rules. The existence of a supermassive black hole so early supports the direct collapse theory, giving black holes a head start. Theorists now face the challenge of explaining such rapid, efficient formation. Webb's discovery may be the first glimpse of a new rule for how the cosmos began. The announcement of GNZ-13X has electrified astronomers worldwide, sparking a wave of excitement and curiosity across the global scientific community. Researchers everywhere are abuzz, eager to understand what this means for our knowledge of the universe. Dr. Evelyn Reed, lead author of the study said, We expected to find tiny faint galaxies, what we found was a giant. She emphasized that this discovery challenges many of our previous assumptions about the early universe and its structure. Professor Kenji Tanaka called it a stunning result that could fundamentally alter our timeline of cosmic structure formation. He explained that such a massive galaxy appearing so early in cosmic history was completely unexpected. The first 500 million years were far busier and more dramatic than we realized, 
with galaxies forming and evolving at a pace that defies previous models. This period now appears to be a time of intense cosmic activity and rapid change. Dr. Maria Santos of the European Space Agency noted, This discovery tells us these massive objects are out there waiting to be found. She added that this could mean the universe is teeming with more surprises than we ever imagined. Webb found GNZ-13X in its first deep field, suggesting such objects may be common, not rare. This hints at a universe filled with ancient, massive galaxies just waiting to be uncovered by future observations. Of course, science demands skepticism and verification. Every extraordinary claim must be tested, and experts are already scrutinizing the data to ensure its accuracy. Teams worldwide are already planning follow-up observations and searches for similar objects. International collaborations are forming to pool resources and expertise, aiming to unlock more secrets from the early universe. As Dr. Reed concluded, this is not the end but the beginning of a new story. The discovery of GNZ-13X marks a turning point, opening up new questions and possibilities for future research. GNZ-13X is a magnificent puzzle, and now, the real work begins. Scientists are eager to piece together its story and understand its place in the cosmic timeline. The consensus is clear. Webb has opened a new frontier. This telescope is giving us a glimpse into the universe's earliest chapters, rewriting what we thought we knew. The field is energized to explore it. With every new discovery, astronomers are more motivated than ever to push the boundaries of our understanding and venture deeper into the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope has made its most transformative discovery yet. By peering deep into the past it uncovered GNZ-13, X a massive, chemically evolved proto-galactic core just 320 million years after the Big Bang. This object challenges our models, suggesting rapid, dramatic formation was possible in the early universe. Webb's sensitivity and spectroscopic power were essential, revealing both distance and chemical makeup. The detection of heavy elements so early shows that the first stars lived and died quickly, seeding the cosmos for future generations. The implications force us to rethink galaxy and black hole formation. GNZ-13X is the first strong evidence for the direct collapse model, a new path for cosmic evolution. As Webb continues its mission we're left with a thrilling question. If this is what we found at the start, what else awaits in the darkness of cosmic dawn?